Good afternoon. Well, let me tell all you something. Well, they will never guess where I am right now. Let me see if I can show you some yeah. greenery. Me and Irene are by my Auntie Georgie. I don't know if my cousin Adam shy. Adam, you shy? Really? This is my cousin. This is my cousin Adam Amarasing. Hi, hi. And we have a real treat. We go into what? Pick planting. Pick some planting. Yeah. He has um he has a planting plantation. We just reached out to Erin because we go into a Christmas celebration hosted by the Palo Seco Open Bible Church. And as we reached out, my Auntie Georgie, she she's game for anything in her Auntie Georgie's adventure. Are you going with boots and things? You don't make jokes. Yeah. So we go in to pick some planting. What a fun! So he just he's just going to do a little he's just going to do a little harvesting. Yeah. A little harvesting. Okay, Uncle Adam said to hold on to something yeah. because it's going to get very, very bumpy. It's wet here. Right, so let's see what's yeah. going on. <laughs> Let me show all you a little airy scenery. A little airy scenery. Bygan plantation, nice melon gen boy. I like the Sydney loves bygan. I like bygan too. So hey, like we just in time for the Aryan sunset. Hey, hold on. <laughs> This is exciting. <laughs> 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 yeah, is an excellent driver, boy. <laughs> All right. I could use your boots, Auntie. Yeah, yeah. All right, Auntie. Baby, say I could use her boots. So yeah. we stay in here. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Adrian. Cousin, yeah, no. that's my boots for me as well. Thank you, no thank you, Adam. <laughs> So they have a sit some already, they cut some plantains already. I missed that because I went to see my, my daddy. And you lead the way. Yeah, let me go. Well you wait here with Auntie. I coming back. This is Irene, guys. Irene. And this is Plantain, Plantain Central. Right, so this is where we tried to come up earlier. And you can see, we yeah, little problems. I want it. <laughs> Why I want to know it's such a strange, you know? That fella make me jump! <laughs> Wait now, you knew that you knew it was going to be activated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah man. Some chicky too. Right. So these are chicky toes. How long how long ago you started this, Adrian? 2021. 2021. Yeah. I think 2021 was a good year for a lot of people to start um, planting. Look at this! Wow! Wow! Amazing! Beautiful! I feel like I have to come and spend a whole day here, boy! Yeah, we'll run through the plantains and thing. You can put on like some nice clothes and run through the... <laughs> 
So what's happening is that <coughs> can pick in some plantains. Pick up on here. It's bon sugar as your tamigo. It's good, very it good. It's good? Yeah. Well, it's good. Bueno. Bueno. Hola Ken. Como estas? What's up? <laughs> You good? Yeah, good. <laughs> I just see all of those things yeah. of excitement, you know. Yeah. All right. So what he will do when he when he um picks up a bunch of plants, then he'll chop down the tree. Yeah. What's the reason for that? So that um the other trees get a chance to grow, and you remember once a tree be a bunch of plants, then it will be um be another bunch again. Right. So cut it down and let the other smaller trees grow. So each tree bears one bunch of plants. Correct. Somebody chop some on here. I feel that's mine. <laughs> yeah. I want to know yeah, if yeah. I was I almost asking yeah. if your plant and plantation is beer this too. You see how big this sucker gets already? I'm gonna start this up a sucker and it already started to grow. So when I cut the main one, the sucker will um grow. Grow from the sides yeah, of the main one. Main right, so you see, this is what he's talking about. This one was yeah. cut previous yeah. this one was cut previously. Yeah. And from the sides, I guess then from the root system, yeah. Yeah. the suckers, suckers, suckers will yeah. come through at the side. Yeah. I want to see him cut down a tree again. Yeah. I want them. And from here you make in planting chips. Yeah. So but more or less know I um, sell these plants in wholesale. But you used to make the chips at one point. Chips, yeah. yeah, um Professor Pepper is Professor prof Pepper, yeah. Professor Pepper. He used to make pepper sauce to y'all. No, I, I did I did principles of business and uh, management of business and accounts and thing. What is called that when you growing your own raw material and manufacturing your own products, that's value chain. Value chain, yeah. Value chain, yeah. right? So what he used to do, he used to grow his own peppers and grow his own plantains, make his own pepper sauce, make his own planting chips. You have any of the labels? Yes, I have some of the labels. So I we'll, show, yeah. Yeah, we'll yeah. show you some of the labels. Yeah. But now business is expanding and so it's probably a little time consuming to, to do those things. Yeah, there's a lot of time um, to take, so I'm more or less going wholesale now. So That's amazing. Yeah. I'm real proud of your cause. Yeah. I'm real, real proud. I'm a cousin yeah. and he's a professor. He <laughs> is a real professor. Can you estimate how many trees you actually have here? I would say they have about 3,000 trees there. 3,000? Yeah, 3,000. And aiming to plant more? Yeah, as as um, as um we we cut planting and we get more suckers, we transplant them. So each each um tree, original tree, will give you about 6 to 7 suckers. In its entire life yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. So when you multiply tree by... Six. Eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand. And then eighteen thousand by three well by six again and And it just keeps keep multiplying, multiplying and multiplying and, and multiplying. As, as much land as you have and as fast as you can keep up the transplant, you'll just keep getting more and more planted. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh look at what look at what is happening there. Yeah. So at regular intervals, you just see a bunch of plants and waiting yeah. <laughs> in the pathway. And normally we are driving here and collect it, but the road a bit wet. So yeah. We'll tote it out. So I'll, I will have the total yeah. bunch. Yeah, you'll see how creatively we will um, carry this plant. You know, Seriously? Yeah, yeah. All in one, all in one trip? Yeah, we'll get like two sticks and we'll hang them on either side of the sticks and two of us will carry those. I can't wait to see this one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is so nice. I just want one plant and to fry for chips. Yeah. I will pay you. No, no, man. <laughs> <laughs> when there's heavy rainfall, Anim, yes. does um does the rainfall affect the trees in terms it of like? It does affect the trees if the rainfall is too heavy. 
you'll see sometimes like the, the roots will become saturated and I could tilt. This is what I, yeah. I've noticed in behind yeah. you. That's why yeah. I asked the question. Yeah. So you see those trees that uh, fell over there. So what we're really supposed to do is try and prop them um, as best as we could. But as you know, with 3,000 trees, it, it's difficult to prop as, you know, all of them. Yeah, it's understandable. Yeah. You'll get a yeah. few falling yeah. down. Yeah. You know? And what about like if it is in this case, there is a young bunch of plants in here. Right, so if if you can probably put the tree back, it would probably continue to grow. But in the way this looking at basically out the root system out there. Okay. Yeah. You've tried that method before? Yeah, yeah, I'll try to replant them already. Okay. And they continue um to grow. Yeah boy. The yeah. whole rooting system out. Yeah. But they there are suckers. Yeah, so. you see suckers, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. This is what we call a sucker. Correct. Correct. Which is basically a new plant. Yeah. Right? Yeah, man. That we installed. A solar powered light. Yeah. Anyway, look at this. You're so, yeah. you're so advanced. Yeah. You're so technologically advanced. Yeah. Eh? A solar powered light. Yeah. A solar powered light. So, what does this do? It's just. So, just lighting at night. So, security lighting that people could know that this is our field and you shouldn't just wander in here um, without knowing that it have a, a you know, yes. cultivated land. So, it, it, that solar powered light will be able to illuminate this entire field? It won't cover the whole field, but it'll. it'll it's pretty bright and you, you will get some coverage you knowing that if you're like you're hunting or so on yeah. you're, you're probably going into that area you shouldn't really right wait. enough to set a yeah. red flag up yeah good yeah. good good yeah. so we reached the end of the field here i'll just step back a little bit so you can get like more of a panoramic view of this amazing planting plantation it's so awesome I wish I had a drone boy on him. Yeah, we had to get a drone boy. <laughs> yeah. But if you go on Google Maps, you can actually see the satellite view of how here is look, eh? With the trees on it? With the trees, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. From previous years gone by because you know um the satellite view is not the most up to date view. Exactly, but you yeah. See the trees. Right. Yeah, you can actually see rows and stuff. You gotta check it out. Um. I following you. I have my boots, I have my camera, I with my cousin, and we going down the road. And I forget we are Christmas village to go to <laughs> later. Another one fell down here. This is a young, young bunch. Very good. People need planting for Christmas. Yeah, boy, people need planting. I see they're making um, pastels, they're wrapping pastels with them. Um, they're using planting instead of cornmeal. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I, I, could, I could try it out, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And the dried leaves doesn't bother the production of the plantings yeah, at all, right? Yeah, they do, so what we'll do from time to time, we'll come and trim the leaves, mm -hmm. right? So the guys, we'll have some guys and they'll come in and they'll actually remove the leaves. Yeah. And um, they'll, they'll clean up the plant and that'll enable the plant to grow faster. Okay, is there right? any way you could avoid, like, <laughs> you could avoid get the leaves getting like this because right. I'm having this problem at home as well. Yeah, they um that's like a, a disease that the plant leaves get. So what you have to do is basically as you see that try to clean clean um remove the leaves and as soon as possible. Yeah, as soon as possible yeah. Oh, yeah. So there also are some um chemicals that you could buy and spray on your tree. So we right. try to minimize chemical use. Very so good. We'll, we'll trim them off as soon as you see them. This is a bunch of chiquito here that's developing. I, I almost yeah. say what kind of plant and this yeah, is this way. Yeah. This is chiquito fig. Yeah. It's one of the smaller varieties of bananas in Trinidad. And Tobago is very, very sweet. You see, there's a young bunch. Yeah. Long time when um long time when them fellas and I wanted to catch um 
Maniko? Yeah. They used to use the chiquito fig. Okay. The ripe chiquito fig. When they're ripe, they're really sweet. Yeah. So what they would do, they would get a barrel with a smooth, um, with the inside of the barrel being smooth, they would put uh, chiquitos inside the barrel. This is one of the methods, eh? and the manicus will go inside the barrel, fall into the barrel, and because they can't grip anything um, on the inside of the barrel, because of the smoothness of the barrel, they'd be stuck in the barrel. And then fellas, and I used to be in the glee. In the glee. It's like a planting maze. Yeah. We can. I want to see Ken chop down our next planting tree, boy. Hey. El Arbol is grande. Not anymore. <laughs> Not grande anymore. <laughs> Get chopped down. That's some good planting. You know how um long time. Okay, I'm from South, right? So long time when you hear you're going Gulf City. You're looking forward to one thing in particular, and that was cotton candy. I feel it like I'm in a cotton candy field here right now. Planting is like my cotton candy situation. You do remember Gulf City long time, boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cotton candy, yeah, I forget cotton candy. Cotton candy and fudge. I don't, I don't know what's it. We'll go this way. Go this way. Go this way. You just keep making rights. At every junction, you just take, make a right angle and listen for the sound of chopping. <laughs> what about birds, boy? Do the birds come or they don't get chance? The birds just come, huh? Um, now, different parts of the field, you'll see different things affecting the planting. Lower down, the birds really. They really go at the planting. I don't know why. We need to get like a scarecrow or something. But here the birds do affect them. I go take the walk. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> scarecrow after them. No, I go start off in the field and wait. <laughs> what is one thing I can go to Africa? It's a pretty nice... Hold on, Ken! Hold on! Espera un momento! <laughs> right, this is... Aha! It's beautiful. This is beautiful, Anem. This is really beautiful. Oh! Right. Beautiful. I remember a long time that you used to call these the twins. Twins, yeah. Yeah, you. Twin in a, yeah. And you're yeah. always getting a twin in a bunch. Right. Always getting a twin in a bunch. And these are some younger trees. Yeah, but once up on that hill there, but I wonder if I can reach up there. That real steep, right? It's steep. It's steep. <laughs> you see. There's yeah, um, Uncle Papo land behind that hill there. Alright. Yeah. You know when you tell me it's steep, that's like you telling me go. <laughs> <laughs> let me see, let me, let me um let me check out this situation. You see it real steep. Now I'm thinking if I climb and I lean forward and I hold on to some grass, I can make it up to that um to that land in there. Let me see. Before you see camera skating, all you know what's going on. Okay. Yeah. I was advised to go up from the side. I don't think my cousin wants to see me rolling down the hill. I just want to get like a nice vantage point for you all to see. Right. Go from here. Okay, I went up high enough. This is perfect. I just wanted to get as close to an aerial shot as possible so you could see what 3,000 planting trees look like. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And you seen those hills there, that little ridge. Beyond that, that's the beach, Lucero. 
That's Lucy Ruby. Are you ready? Okay. I could sit here for hours, y'all. Could sit here for hours. All right. So remember, Adrian was telling us that they have a special way of taking the plantains out, like a lost boy. Kaka. Oh, I see movements over there. I'm telling you, you can get lost quite easily in a um, plantain plantation, but I don't mind it. Uh -huh, find them so let's see find them I find them all right so and I was saying you're gonna stack them he is saying that all these plantains are going out in one trip. One trip you're saying that on him? One trip you know boy? Papa yo. You go see. Yeah. That's real bunches there boy. All right. I lost count already. I lost count already. I hope all you're counting with me, you know. Alright, so Ken has his planting totem apparatus. The great planting retrieval is re retrieval is the word to use. The great planting transportation. Alright. All you need a hand or I could just... It's... Ah, you could do it one. Okay. Yeah. I nearly tripped there. Yes, yeah, okay. Eh, eh. All right, all right. Innovation. <laughs> well, you're sure this is going to work? Yeah, we're going to try it. It worked before. And nervous, you know, RL nervous. Yeah. Okay, I'm not bringing any nervousness here. Right. You're confident. Confident, yeah. Yeah, like changing him from embarrassing to balancing. Balancing. Yeah, that's a real old joke, boy. <laughs> Still. Planting is all farmers go through the um, when planting the plates. Yeah, boy, this is real hard work, you know. This is hard work. When people call in the price all year, yeah. they'll try to haggle, they'll try to beat them down, they'll look for a bargain. It's hard work. Feel this stick reaching in the middle? No. You feel that put put? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. <laughs> what kind of stick is that, boy? What tree you picked that from? I don't know, no, but Papa Rocky picked this stick here. This is about 120 pounds of plant, isn't it? 120 pounds, you're feeling it? Yeah. So from just. Yeah, well. Ah boy, I'm in my second trip. Yeah. A second trip calling. Hey, let me help these people to out a two bunch of planting, boy. Let me help them with a bunch. Let me help them with a bunch. And I'll come back. They're going good. I'm real proud of them. I'm real, real proud of them. This fella, this fella. This fella giving trouble again. Coming up was one thing, but you think I go skate dog? The trick is to walk in the grass. And that way, you'll reach down safe. Planting chips. Pong planting. Planting and roti curry planting. Planting and rice. Planting and saltfish. Planting and smoke heron. Planting and planting, planting pie, planting punch, 
plants and to eat with your cousin, plants and to eat with your aunt, your granny, your uncle, your brother, your sister. Planting for every day of the week. <laughs> Planting, amigo! Daddy, auntie, planted you! <laughs> Hi! Girls, all you see what's this? Planted! Planted. That's a lot of planted. Yeah. That's a lot of plantains. What's up? What's up? Um, I want some water to drink. You want some water to drink? All right, we'll get some water to drink this now. Mickey, come to pick plantain too. Yeah. And Minnie Mouse. I'm Peggy. I want to pick plantain. No, we don't want this time. Oh, <laughs> this is my mommy. This is one of my mommy, you know. This is one of my mommy. <laughs> if it is, you're wondering why I'm looking a little orange. Is because of the sunset. Let me show you. Look at that, y'all. I wish you could be here to experience this first hand life. It's amazing. It is amazing. Don't you get worried? <laughs> All your safe hands! Good. I knew you all were coming, you know. The motion sensor. <laughs> An extra one more trip. Really. You see, I know that the plant and multiply, you know. Multiplying. It is multiplying right before your very eyes, Adam. Yeah, one more trip, Auntie. One more trip. So it gets in a little dark, but I want to show all you close up of the bike gun. And my uncle's um melangen prop. You healthy. Let me see if I could go up here, boy. What do you think? I think I just gonna make it. Yeah, man. Still have it in me. Mommy, are you sure that? Yeah, baby, I'll be safe. Suri is very worried. She's worried. Mommy, are you sure that? Yes, darling. Now I have to be very careful because there's some watermelon planted in between the melon gen trees. Right. Don't want to step on them. Beautiful vines. Ah. I'm coming, sweetheart. <laughs> I know Suri, Suri feeling confined in that van, you know, but it's just too much mud for her to come out and run in. She'll be falling down more than running. The air, the air down here is so different. Crisp, pure, nice oxygen. That's nice and cool. Look at the colors, no filter. Look at the colors behind me. Is it there? That's all right. I telling you something here, Adam. Yeah. These bunches are planting triple in front of my very eyes. Yeah. Triple in front of my very eyes. I want you to 
мальчики тут. Да, значит, э, э, а мы будем сейчас вот это говорить будет. He can plant plants and make pepper sauce. Teach, and he can reverse our van real boss too. And he wrote a maths book. And he wrote a maths book. You did? Yes. I want to buy a copy of that boy. Maths and solutions. Simultaneous equations. Oh, everything. Cxc maths. I buy a copy of that to him. Man reverse right out you know. And can I even fall down? That's real skills, boy. I want to show you somebody. Tell me if you know this person. Who's that person? Who's that person? It's a man pretty nice. And who's you? My name is Vanessa. I'm actually better than this doy. Doy doy? This is Anki doy. This is Anki doy. What are you doing here? This is the start of a fire. You started a fire? To do a barbecue. And it's like um, we have to make chips before we put the coals. But we put the coals and any chips? And now we, we, we do that pot bake now. It's because you put the, the, the fire on top, the, the chips on top. The chips on top? I hear just now it's the birthday. Yeah, that's true. It's just December 1963. 22nd of December 1963. So that is his birthday. That is his date of birth. He's letting you ladies out there know when he was born. <laughs> Right? I'm not available. He said, I'm not available. <laughs> You're available. What are some of the things that interest you? Like, I know you said that uh, you're a simple fella, but like, you like long walks on the beach. I love to talk to ladies. Plenty. That's an important thing to me before the cut. We're getting contact together. Throw some words to them. You're very smooth with words, not so. Properly. I throw my call, make all the fowler right away. They pick it up all. I'm ready to hold the fowler. Throw your phone? Yeah. Long time I hear laugh, so boy, do you, boy? Okay. Like a tickle in your heart. Give us an example of some of these things you're saying, huh? Something that needs like flower. What say you could I have your name? I lost my phone now, could I have yours please? <laughs> it's like um are you interested in me or not? Listen my words or not. If I re rejected, say you contact. Turn it back on me. Good, good, good. <laughs> Rejected or not? Rejected or not? The man direct boy, the man say, don't play around with the feelings and take, right? Don't play around with the feelings and take. When I was small, I never used to call him Uncle Dodo, yeah? I used to call him Unky Dodo. Yeah, his father put out first when I took um, thing. But it would take some um, time to light. My team guys like. Use the fireman? Yeah. Anytime you want a fire done, ask Uncle Dodo. So remember, remember yesterday we picked the plantains um, and him and Ken um, took us down to the plantation and we picked the plantains. Well, this evening we're gonna fry some plantain chips, right, yeah. Professor Plantain? Yeah, we're gonna fry some plantain chips and do a little chicken barbecue and just smell what we serve down here in Erin. I'm a cousin Georgia here, Georgia, where is she seen? She, she a little shy, but we love she still. <laughs> so let me show you the situation. Mm. Hey, when I saw you see one of this fella? You know what they call that? A ground puppy. Alright. Is he dying a thing? The flame gets in higher. And we have some um we have some chicken. Auntie Georgie steam up some chicken. She's steamed up two sets. This one is with pepper. Um a jerk flavor, I think. Is that jerk seasoning or just normal hot pepper? Jerk flavor, huh? Normal hot pepper. And. Okay. And the one underneath is without pepper. Oh, yeah. You all saw where we got the plantain from? And it's just so wonderful to know that, hey, when we fry these strips, we went and picked the plantains. Hi! 
You want plants and chips? That's not what she wants to know, Adrian. She wants the fireworks. Fireworks. It's really fun stuff. Yeah, so it's really interesting for me to know that um, the plant and chips that I will be eating that I actually went and I saw um, where it actually came from. Be careful, Adoy. I hear you used to play cricket real good. Number one. Number one? Not one. Hey, go there, Uncle Adrian, show you how to do it. Watch how Uncle Adrian doing it. <laughs> yes! You need to fan it, boy? No. You think we should fan it? I don't know. Oh, let me do it. I don't know. Mosquito eating your bold face and earring, boy. Oh, it's Tyrotech, so if you carry it too close to the heat, you know what will happen, right? And we lime in. You want to cook some Yeah. Hold it tight. Yep. When my we see that, she is so close. She was in Trinidad. She was in Trinidad. Right outside the avenue. This is the trend, remember? They want to put it too much in the middle. Mm hmm. Put the burn. Uh, yeah. So they'll, it'll get the indirect heat. Yeah. So there's the churrans. This is the churrans portion. The non spicy. But you hear the sizzle, Auntie? <laughs> sure, not sizzle. Joy! Hello. Pepper for you or no pepper for you? No pepper. No pepper. I said try also. <laughs> Sorry, found something so amazing. Two white orbies. They're so cool. They're squishy. And look at and they can I want to try to squish it and it's roll away. It's trying to roll away? Yeah. Because it's so smooth. Yeah, and when it, and it's squishy, that's why it does roll away. Oh my gosh. I'm going to show you. You squishy. Auntie Georgie is saying it's such an unexpected lime that we have here. But those are the kinds of limes that actually play off real good. Put my newspaper here, guess why? Because I have some planting. Some planting to, to peel, right? So we we'll peel them up. I think I might get better light in here. So these are the plantings that we picked yesterday in Adrian's um, planting farm, right? And just excuse me, shaking a little bit. How to peel your planting. This is how I do it. Oh, I just cut off the bad spot. They'll keep those plantains that have the little blemishes for home use. Right? Make one slit. Yeah. Rightly said by Auntie Georgie, the blemishes really, they don't go too deep. It just affects the skin. So, take the blade of your knife sort of get in there and try to lift the skin away from the flesh inside the plant and then you run your fingers <laughs> along it like that and you just keep repeating until you uncover the flesh of the plant and inside repeat how many more times four more times So the lighting is sufficient for us here and I'll do my best to bring it to you all as well. It's not too bright, kind of romantic. Under the sky is an earring, frying plantain, roasting chicken. The second one. 
See? That's another blemish. But just cut it away. You see it just went in just it's just skin deep. Didn't affect the planting at all. Right, so we have we five plants in there. I'll get them a rinse and sort of slice them up. But in the meantime, in the meantime, Auntie Georgie has a fire going. The chicken gets a nice color. Boy, what's a chicken, eh, boy? Auntie Georgie's grill. We are wasting a fire. I get permission now, all you. I got permission, right? So I'll just take. Let me see, boy. Two of these little fellas here, right? Take two of these fellas. We we'll weigh them, right? Right, that's the bit of it. Remember it, and we'll pay Adam for his um plantings. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all you see a scale like this. Long time, boy. I'm really glad that I could put a plant on a scale tonight because I've always looked at these scales in the marketplaces and it always looks so cool when the vendors take produce and they just like XYZ, 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 you know? They just rest the item there, XYZ, bag it, and hand it to you. I think I could I think I could sell plantains. In the middle. Put it in the middle. Yeah. And we just go down the rest of the auntie baby. There's half a pound of plant and I owe you four. <laughs> <laughs> but this young, you can take the bigger one. We could try uh, okay. Try one, right? Yeah. Auntie, we should take a bigger one. We have to put it in the back. In the middle. In the middle. We got more heat there. Whoa! Uh, auntie Georgia, you're a real professional girl. <laughs> Check out she situate the chicken and the plant. <laughs> Doi! Yeah. So while the rest of chicken roasting, let me see if I can give all a better angle. While the chicken roasting, we'll chip up. If you have a mandolin and you want to slice them thin, that would be real good, but we're doing it old school. When I was growing up, this is how we had our planting chips. <laughs> Sometimes we used to slice them a bit thicker, maybe probably like that, so that um, it'll be cr crunchy on the outside but soft on the inside and chewy. Guys, my nails not dirty here. Yeah? That's the plant and stain on it. Right, so we'll just continue slicing. And Uncle Dodo is hustling, ma, because he said he put hot in with the oil. He's the man frying the chips. What? He's the chips man. Chips. Chips man. Right, so, so put some water. Yeah, fine. Repeat four more times. You're right, boy. Look, we fellas on them here. Doi, yes, you ready? Yeah, bring it for you. Wash already? Yeah, I sprinkle the salt after. We don't do so. Yeah, so we have these nice, um, sliced planting discs. Ooh, ready to dive into the hot oil ready to hear sizzle right i know when we slice the green fig the green bananas to make tal curry we call it jacket button but you see it kind of these these resemble the jacket buttons as well there we go auntie georgie her real progress here oh my gosh auntie auntie Oh my gosh, this is this is yeah. excellent. Mm. So remember I usually tell you all that um I inherit my cooking skills from mommy and daddy. Well I inherited from mommy sister. This is my new mommy. Marina too. I yes, I have all my aunties are my mommies. And she's very, very humble and she's very, very shy. <laughs> she's, she's, she's cooking real good. Look at the smoke. That is when you know you're doing it right. Pause. 
I think the oil hot day. Let me try it and see. Yeah, boy, do it already there. Yeah, true. Watch, it's bubbling. Okay. Try the rest? Yeah. Try the rest? Yeah. All right. Spread it out like that and rice. Spread it out like that and rice? Yeah. <laughs> very nice, it's doing very beautiful. Yeah, because when they stick up, um, if you put it like this in a clump, yeah. what is going to happen is that it will fry just like that. But we're eating that too. I think um, Uncle Dodo really wants to get the chips effect. Right, Doi? Yes. So you watch my plant tomorrow, right? Okay. Right. I will. I like your setup. Very nice. Yeah, this is how you had a fried plant and chips. You had to get chair and sit down and wait. Right? Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah, I'm real, real happy to be here. Let me carry all you and show all you, my auntie. Yeah. Oh, the barbecue. <laughs> and baby, you looking just as good as the barbecue. You're looking better than the barbecue. This woman is proud of her barbecue and she has every right to be, y'all. Look at that steam coming up from everywhere. Perfect color. Perfect smell. The smell is giving me a very good indication that it's going to taste good. Just so. See if I could get a little closer. It's the light situation I'm dealing with here, right? But, but, even in the darkness, your food looking awesome, Auntie. Even in the darkness. I done mark my piece already, you know. <laughs> I done mark my piece. The girl's waiting on the chips. And she's yeah, so what's going on with the plant? Do you think it's good by now? I can take out one. Oh, you take, see oh she good. take out one, you all. See if it's good. She take out one. Let me check. Let me check. I'm going to say check. I'm going to say check and test it at the same time. And I say chess. All right. Let me chess it. Let me chess it. I got, I got so excited, you all. I got so excited. Let's see what's going on. I wonder if I could do it. How to do it, Andy? Slice it like cut, cut it down the middle. And see down like this. No. This way. Half, yes. In half. All right. Put it back. Well, listen. The knife went right through. Let's go. So that is a very good indication. I didn't get any resistance. Right. It's looking like it cook. And it's a dull knife, eh? <laughs> Take all the others. Ooh, it's hot. Yeah. These Just now, I'll tell you. These could be better loosen Because I had it in the end. Let me tell all you. Alright, so this is a piece of a roast planting. It's a hard time for washing and that kind of thing. Hi. Hi. Roast planting. Let me test it. Okay. I don't want to be rude and talk with my mouth full all the time, but it's very soft. It's very flavorful, even without the salt. We didn't put any salt on it yet. Um, there's nothing there's nothing added to this. They just came directly out of the fire and we tested it It's cooked. It's cooked It's not raw at all But I first think you can yes yeah, the first time I wrote some planting so I think we could put it there for maybe like a, a 10 minutes on indirect heat. Yeah, and it is any smokiness the coals you're getting that nice charred flavor the smoking something Something about grilling stuff, it's different. Something about grilling stuff is different. Roast planting. That's good. I can eat this alone. Nah, joking, Auntie. How do you eat a piece of that chicken, boy? Yeah, boy, good color. Yeah. Good color. Let's take them and put them here. It's a long handle spoon, boy. You can pick mango with a spoon. Yeah, you pick mango that already. <laughs> Right, perfect color. Planting chips. Cook planting chips, raw planting chips. Cook planting chips, raw planting chips. And an uncle pamphlet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we go again. You did good. Well, Alright, well, so yeah. Uncle Dodoy is putting more planting discs. 
to fry by using my labor, right? It's his intention. He hired my services. Thanks, Uncle Dodoy. Take a sample, let's see. You all need to contact on him and buy some plantains. That's all I say. Call Adrian, buy some plantains, make some plantain chips. Roast some chicken. That was good. Even without the salt. <laughs> I'm just showing all you. Auntie Baby love her lights, you know. She real, real, real love her lights. I mean, Auntie Georgie. I would, I just call my Auntie Georgie Auntie Baby. Everybody know as Auntie Baby. Are you ready to eat? Yes. yes. Also, I have a freaking funny story about Mickey Mouse and that dog. You have a funny story about Mickey Mouse and the dog? What's that? What's that? Well, I was going to post to the dog and he was getting angry, right? Yeah. So when Auntie George, I let the kids so open the kids to feed him. Um, the dog come right after me. Mm -hmm. And I used to make him also beat him up. He rushed ya. And you beat him with Mickey. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. And what he did when, when you beat him up with, with Mickey? He retreated. He retreated? Well, I retreated. <laughs> so we have, we, um, we have plantain chips. Look at those plantain chip faces waiting now, boy. I'll just sprinkle some salt over it. Sprinkle the salt a little. Salt the action. Turn them up. Turn them up. Yeah, the what? The woman's working. Yeah. All ready for chips. Me. 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 Go ahead, Nancy. This is our planting situation. Planting and barbecue chicken situation. It was so spontaneous, but it turned out wonderfully, even though it was spontaneous. Planting chips and barbecue chicken, y'all. I don't know if you ever um, had that combination before. How are tasting you? Amazing. 100 out of 100? 100 out of 100. I could tell, boy. The sauce spicy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, boy. Plantains. And yeah, that's my roasted plantain. And I deliberately left the little bits of um, um, birds pieces on it because that's how I want it. Yeah. I want to tell you something about this sauce that my auntie. <laughs> she real laughing. <laughs> this sauce that we eat in the chicken and the plantain. This is chicken and chips. Basically, plant and chips and chicken. Chicken and chips. This sauce that was used to base the barbecue chicken and that we using to dip the plant and chips in also. You know, sometimes in your barbecue sauce recipe, you put a little um, Coca-Cola, a little beer. Well, my auntie just had neither of those and she put red solo. The lady put red solo. In the barbecue sauce, but y'all, it is tasting so delicious. <laughs> it actually works. It is a different. Because I was asking her, I say, Auntie, what you put in this? You put some sort of um, exotic spice or a bay leaf or clove or something. And she said, No, I put red solo in it. But it worked out well. The city is saying that she tasted it also. 
thing is too thick, you know. Tastes are all good. So that is where I got my innovativeness from. You see? With regards to the barbecue chicken, everything is on point, 100%, top of the line. It's perfectly cooked. I took a five, and well, Auntie had pre-cooked it in the oven, and it's so soft and tender, so juicy. There's a nice crunch on the um, there's a nice crunch on the on the outer layer of the chicken, the skin. Um, all the fat had been rendered, so it's not fatty at all. This is the perfect bite of chicken barbecue chicken. Oh, you see how Ella's looking a little skinny? I need to put back on a little weight. And when you have food cooked with love, trust me, you'll start to look healthy. This is good. But Anki Dodoy, yes. I like it what you hold, night boy. Thank you. We're doing it, we're doing it. Yeah, once we do it, we're doing it. That's the motto. Once we're doing it, we're doing it. Anki Dodoy. That solo situation and that sauce is superb. Say that five times.